Club. And now what we're going to do, we're going to jump over to a quick demo of the new practice sets. Peter, you are going to be acting as the teacher on this demo, and I'm going to share my screen very quickly to show you what it looks like as a student. So practice sets is the new assignments tool that's coming out for Google Classroom. Just give myself a second here. So currently when you go to, when you create an assignment on Google Classroom, then you're able to add like a doc, a sheet, a slide deck, form, um, link, and so on. Practice sets is a little bit like Google Forms, but a very, very enhanced version of it. And we're going to go through this and just see some of the features that have released so far. Uh, practice sets are very much in beta. The interface is quite slow at the moment. So if you see any lagging, that's probably why, because it's in beta. Um, but we'll sort of hit upon some of the, the features of it. Now, once you've created a practice set, you assign it to students in the regular way you do from Google Classroom. So you create assignment and then you add it, you create a practice set or you add an existing practice set you might, that you might have. So what we can see here, this is what a practice set or an assignment looks like. And so Peter's just created a very simple math test here. I'm just going to go through and answer this. Um, let's get the first one correct. And you can see when I come down here to enter the um, to the answer for the second question, it's obviously a math question. It comes up with this um, function keyboard down here that I can use if, if I wish to use that. One purpose, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna enter this incorrectly. Finally down here, we have a numerical answer. And I'm actually just gonna put this incorrectly for a second. I also want to just show down here the students can also enter their working as well. So they can type in their working. Or they can click on the button up here and if they have a stylus or presuming if they're working on a, um, she can I, okay, what you can also do is actually, oh, there we go. You can actually select the pencil and use your stylus to actually write onto the screen. And so they can add their handwritten responses to questions as well. So I think it's, I'm a former math teacher. So I know if you give students a short answer or multiple choice question, you're not gonna get very much original work on that. But by asking them to put in their handwritten working as well, you have a much greater chance of getting their original work. So what I'm going to now going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this in. Oh, James, before we turn it in, actually, yep. uh, do you want to try pressing check and it should oh, yeah. give you some pointers, hopefully. Good point. Thank you, Peter. That's right. It's and still we only... also, <laughs> what we can also do is, um, where is the Peter? Yeah, the resources button. So it's just hiding down here. You can also click on show resources and it will recommend videos related to the content that the test is on. And when you create a, um, when you create an assignment, you can actually add on, what well, well, Peter will show you in a moment, you can add on relevant objectives for that assignment. And then as a student, as they're working through this, they can actually put up resources and it will show any relevant resources it thinks may support the student. Okay, Peter, shall I go in ahead? Shall I go ahead and turn this in? Yeah, go for it, James. Yeah, let's. Uh... Okay, so Peter, I'm going to stop presenting and I'll let you take over. Just whilst you're doing that, Oren, I saw your question. I presumably you're talking about uh, resources in practice sets. I'm actually not sure if you can customize them yet or not. It's very much in beta. It's very, very early release right now. I didn't see anywhere that you could customize them. Right, so yeah, Troy is loading. We only actually got access to this um, just yesterday, so we've not really had too much of a chance to, to delve into practice yet. yet. So it's, it's really early access, hot for press. Um, yeah, so I've got the maths test assignment here, and I can see I've now got two turned in uh, using the normal Google Classroom interface. Uh, if I 
once we have the practice sets view, I'll just click on the practice sets button on the right hand side here. And now this will show me uh, everyone who's handed it in so far and get a, a, a much uh, more detailed view than what you'd normally get on something like Google Forms here. So quite similar to Google Forms, if I click on, let's say James on this one, and I can see great, James has got the first correct answer correct. I can see his incorrect answers and the third one is ungraded. But what's interesting here is if I uh, click on question one, for instance, uh, or maybe it's question two, uh, let's see if we can find James's workings. Yeah, it's still a little bit slow. Uh, okay, this is one I was just messing around on the earlier, and you can see my, my working outs here. And if I go to James, it will do something similar. Okay, maybe that didn't get uh, saved properly. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't turn it in for that one. Yeah. The other interesting thing around practice sets is once we've got a bit more data and if we had you know, a proper test in here of many more questions, it would automatically give us insights into areas uh, where students are struggling. Um, we've only got three questions in here, so it's not really enough data uh, for it to go on. Uh, but normally, if we had uh, our full class of students in a, a, a longer test, uh, it would give us uh, some highlights about particular areas where students are uh, struggling, giving us guidance as teachers about where we need to provide um, extra support. So I think that's going to be quite an interesting feature. Um, it's also exciting just having the inking ability and actually having an equation editor um, in Classroom, I think it's going to be really useful because that's a, an area where Google has perhaps been a little bit lacking in previously, uh, especially with what was available in uh, docs and slides are compared to Word, so it's good to see Google have added that into uh, practice sets. So I think that's going to be really popular uh, with our maths teachers. When it comes to creating uh, an assignment, you just do it in a normal way. So let's go back to uh, my Google Classroom. I'm going to go to Classwork and let's create a new assignment. Uh, just call this one test. So uh, this domain one is is a beta domain from Google. So we've got a slightly different look interface here, um, which will be rolling out to domain soon. And you also notice we've got add-ons here, um, which is a great way of integrating other uh, edtech platforms, which we could go through uh, in another time. Um, but I've got a new practice set icon here. So if I click on this, this will let me create a new practice set or select uh, one of my existing practice sets and you can see I've got a couple here already I've got a geography test I've made and a maths test so let's go back into this one first of all and uh, firstly before we go on one nice thing here is it actually lets the teacher try it out as a student so this has uh, been I know a lot of our teachers have asked for this previously but it's hard to see what a student sees on Google Classroom but it's nice to see at Google have added this button so a teacher can actually try out their own test before they assign it out to students. Now, if I go to edit, we can see actually how we can make uh, the test. So from here, I can have several different types of questions. So if I insert a, a new question, first of all, let me just take a quick look at that. So quite similar to a Google form, I can have a short answer question, a paragraph, I can have multiple choice or check boxes. And when I insert a new question, I get the opportunity to uh, specify obviously the question. I've got the maths uh, keyboard here, which allows me to bring this up and I can type out my equation. And then just like a, a quiz on Google Forms, I can input all my answers and select what is the correct answer. But the thing which is different uh, other than forms is that I can also add these skills in uh, to um, to give feedback to uh, students or extra resources. And I can simply just type in a keyword and it will search through all the different skills Google already loaded onto here 
Um, there's, there's loads already. Uh, I've not had a chance to go through them all yet, but there's skills around obviously maths, science, uh, geography, writing, various skills you can select from. And Google will automatically look at what you put into a question to suggest uh, suitable skills, which you can then either remove or or, uh, or set different ones if you want to. Uh, on a short answer question, I get the option of, um, at least with maths, I can add equations into here. And if a student handwrites their equation, it will compare it against my uh, right answers there as well, which is quite nice. Um, and the other cool thing I notice is if we go into settings, uh, probably more applicable for uh, other types of tests other than maths, but uh, you can have it ignore capitalization in answers. Uh, so I know in Google Forms before, if you had to create a quiz in Forms, you'd have to go through and put in every variation of that answer. But now uh, a nice time saver for teachers is they can just select this box and it will ignore, ignore that. So it make it a bit easier to, to set up quizzes there. Uh, once we've done editing, we can just save that. Um, it also saves automatically, so I don't, if I do close this page, all my changes are saved. And then I can just attach it to, uh, so I'm missing the correct answer. Yeah, okay, so let's just remove this question. We didn't put any content on there. And now let's just try, try attaching that to a Google Classroom assignment. And it just pops up in exactly the same way as a doc sheet or slide words uh, normally.